In this series of videos, we're going to discuss 10 cases that are unsolved from 2021. Noemi Boulevard. Noemi was last seen on February 11, 2021 in Hollywood, Florida. She disappeared after getting off of a bus for a walk at the Ann Kolb Nature Center near Hollywood Beach. On February 11th, Noemi left her parents' house to go for a walk in a nature preserve around 4 p.m. She was seen on surveillance cameras getting off the bus at the 7,000 block of Sheridan Street before getting off alone in the 800 block of Sheridan Street along the intercoastal waterway in Hollywood, Florida. At around 6 p.m., Noemi sent a Snapchat message and photo of her at the observation tower inside the Ann Kolb Nature Center. But she stopped responding by 6.15 and her phone later died. This is the last anyone ever heard from her. Her parents became concerned when Noemi didn't show up for the Zoom Bible study at 7 p.m., which led to them calling the Hollywood Police Department and filing a missing persons report. Between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m., Noemi's phone, which disappeared with her, pinged twice to a cell tower around the 2300 block of South Ocean Drive near Hollywood Beach, about three miles south of the Nature Center. Six days later, an extensive search was conducted in the area south of the Nature Center, looking for any signs of Noemi, but the search was inconclusive. Her phone record, bank account, and social media have had no activity since she disappeared. Noemi didn't take any money, credit cards, or identification with her and left all of her belongings at home. A month later, something surprising happened. Naomi's phone was powered on and a text message was initiated with three of her friends, but nothing was ever said. And then the phone was powered back off. Police found no evidence of foul play in Noemi Boulevard's disappearance. There's currently no promising leads in her case. Noemi was last seen wearing a striped shirt, jean Bermuda shorts, and teal sneakers. She was wearing black sunglasses and a white face mask. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of Noemi Boulevard, please contact the Hollywood Police Department at 954-967-4636 or Broward County Crime Stoppers at 954-493-8477. Kirsten Brueggemann. 26-year-old Kirsten Brueggemann was last seen on January 2, 2021 in Indianapolis, Indiana. She was walking alone towards East Washing Street at about 2 a.m. On January 1st, Kirsten spoke with her mom on the phone. She told her that she wouldn't need a ride home from work because she was going to meet up with some friends after her shift. That evening, Kirsten met up with her friends at an Irish mutt bar located at the corner of Shadeland Road and 10th Street in Indianapolis. Around 12.15 a.m., Kirsten left the bar with several friends and said that she wanted to go bowling, and she was last seen headed in the direction of a nearby bowling alley. Kirsten was last seen on camera walking towards a closed bowling alley after heading east past the Winter Woodworking Company on North Short Ridge Road. At around 2 a.m. on January 2nd, Kirsten was seen on camera walking through the parking lot of the Harper J. Ransberg Branch, YMCA, off of North Short Ridge Road. The footage shows her walking towards East Washington Street, but it is unknown if she ever made it there. The Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department reached out to the community in hopes of finding clues in Kirsten's disappearance. Ensuing searches by police and independent investigators have turned up nothing. Kirsten was last seen wearing a gray or light colored stocking hat, a black waist length jacket, blue jeans, a white backpack, and black knee high boots. The IMPD is offering a $10,000 reward for any information that leads to Kirsten's whereabouts. Her parents don't believe that she would have just walked away from her life. They said she would have never left her dog, Tifa, behind. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of Kirsten Brueggemann, please contact the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department at 317-327-6160 or the Law Investigation International Anonymous Tip Line 
at 317-279-6082. Heidi Plank. 39-year-old Heidi Plank was last seen in Los Angeles, California, when suddenly leaving her son's football game during halftime. On the afternoon of October 17th, Heidi left her home with her dog, Seven, to drive to the Los Angeles suburb of Downey. She was then joined by her ex-husband so they could attend their 10-year-old son's football game. During the game, she was described as distracted and bothered. Around 4.30 p.m., Heidi told her ex-husband that she had to leave the game early, then drove away with her dog before the game was over. Soon after the game ended, Heidi sent a text message to her son, congratulating him on his win. Around 6.30 p.m., she was captured on security footage, walking her dog outside a downtown Los Angeles apartment complex. Heidi Plank never returned home that evening and has never been heard from again. Heidi was captured on surveillance video at 6.30 p.m. walking her dog in a downtown Los Angeles alleyway between 11th and 12th streets. At around 7 p.m. that evening, her dog, Seven, was found wandering alone on the 28th floor of a luxury apartment complex called Hope and Flower with no signs of Heidi. On October 20th, Heidi's ex-husband became concerned after she failed to pick up their 10-year-old son at school in Westwood. He then filed a missing persons report with the Los Angeles Police Department. On October 29th, the FBI served a search warrant on Heidi's home with guns drawn, expecting to find a crime scene, but there was no sign of her. They found her cell phone and laptop, but her car and dog were missing. Her phone record, bank account, and social media have shown no activity since she disappeared. On November 4th, her silver 2017 Range Rover with California license plate U840X0 was found abandoned in an underground garage of a residential building located a few blocks away from Hope and Flower. The discovery of undisclosed forensic evidence in the high-rise building led authorities to believe something had happened that resulted in her death and that her body may be in the Chiquita Canyon landfill. On November 29th, authorities executed a search warrant at the Chiquita Canyon landfill located on 29201 Henry Mayo Drive, about 40 miles northwest of Los Angeles. Authorities performed an excavation of a specific area in the landfill in search for human remains and to collect any related evidence. Back on October 21st, Heidi's ex-husband received a phone call from an SEC agent asking him questions about Jason Sugarman, Heidi's boss. Jason Sugarman and his business partner, Jason Galanis, were previously charged by the SEC with securities fraud in 2019. The pair were accused of stealing more than $43 million from their clients' pension funds. Two days after Heidi's disappearance, surveillance footage showed Jason Sugarman ringing her doorbell and dropping off pastries at her home in West Los Angeles. Her ex-husband believes Heidi's job may have played a role in her disappearance. Foul play is suspected in Heidi Plank's disappearance, but there is currently no suspect information. Heidi was last seen wearing a pair of jeans, a t-shirt with a smiley face, and a gray sweater wrapped around her waist. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of Heidi Plank, please contact the Los Angeles Police Department at 213-486-6840 or 877-527-3247 or call the Los Angeles Regional Crime Stoppers at 800-222-8477. Brian Hazel. 22-year-old Brian Hazel was last seen on November 5, 2021 in Orlando, Florida. He disappeared from the apartment that he and his father shared. On November 5th, Brian's father left town with family members for a trip. Brian was invited, but decided to just stay home alone. His father left him $100 in cash and his credit card. The next day, Brian talked to his sister on the phone for about five minutes. 
The last purchase on his credit card was for a coffee at Foxtail Coffee Shop on University Boulevard. On November 12th, Brian was seen by a maintenance worker sitting at the basketball court of his apartment complex. They reportedly spoke for a few minutes before Brian went back to his apartment. On November 15th, Brian's father returned home from his trip, but Brian was nowhere to be seen. Two days later, his father filed a missing persons report to the Orange County Sheriff's Office when Brian still hadn't returned home. At the time of his disappearance, Brian and his father shared a car, but it was currently broke down and in the repair shop. His cell phone, which was left behind in his room, was found with a dead battery and unread text messages from November 6th, the same day that he talked to his sister. On November 15th, Brian had reportedly spoke to a resident at the place of Alafaya and mentioned going off grid. Police found no evidence of foul play in Brian Hazel's disappearance. At the time he went missing, Brian was unemployed and single. He was known to regularly visit restaurants and businesses on University Boulevard, Alafaya Trail, and Waterford Lakes. Brian was described as generous and friendly, and he often spent his time helping people in need. He would give money to homeless individuals and share his food with them. According to his family, Brian may have been going through some depression at the time he went missing. He reportedly made unusual religious comments about heaven and the purpose of life. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of Brian Hazel, please contact the Orange County Sheriff's Office at 407-836-4357. Daniel Robinson. 24-year-old Daniel Robinson was last seen in Buckeye, Arizona on June 23, 2021, when he left his work site and drove deep into the Buckeye desert terrain. That morning, around 9 a.m., Daniel drove to a site near Sun Valley Parkway and Cactus Road for a well project in the desert of Buckeye, Arizona. A co-worker stated that Daniel was acting strangely and said things that didn't make sense. Around 9.15 a.m., he abruptly left the work site when it started raining. Daniel took off in his Jeep, and from the looks of his tire tracks, he was headed west, going deeper into the desert terrain. Throughout the day, no one from his company, his friends, or family could reach him. Daniel Robinson never returned home and has never been heard from again. Later that day, Daniel was reported missing to the Buckeye Police Department when his family and friends couldn't get a hold of him. On July 19th, his 2017 blue-gray Jeep Renegade was found in a remote part of the desert by a rancher, about two and a half miles southwest from the job site he was last seen. The vehicle was found rolled over in a ravine with the airbags deployed, suggesting that the driver was wearing a seatbelt at the time of the crash. His cell phone, keys, wallet, and work clothes were recovered about three feet from the Jeep. Authorities conducted an extensive search of over 70 square miles in the area where they found the Jeep, with the help of four-wheelers, cadaver dogs, drones, and helicopters. Sadly, there was no sign of Daniel. After Daniel Robertson's disappearance, several sets of human remains were found, but none of them belonged to Daniel. According to an accident reconstructionist and private investigator hired by Daniel's family, the car's black box showed that the vehicle was traveling under 30 miles per hour before the airbags were deployed. They also discovered that the car recorded more than 40 ignition cycles and traveled an additional 11 miles after the airbags were deployed. Although the Jeep dealership stated that this is not a singular incident with this software. The family believes that there may be foul play involved. They think that the crash scene was staged. Authorities stated that there was red paint transferred onto the right side of the Jeep, but there was no red paint in the area. Before Daniel disappeared, he had told friends that he had met a woman named Caitlin while working a side job for Instacart, a grocery delivery service. He claimed that he had fallen in love with her. During a delivery at her house, 
The two exchanged phone numbers when the woman and her friend reportedly invited him in. However, later text messages showed that Daniel had showed up at her home unannounced more than once. The woman told Daniel she was uncomfortable with him doing this and asked him to stop contacting her. According to his friends and family, they believe that Daniel was acting odd before his disappearance, but they don't believe that he was suicidal over the relationship. Police found no evidence or motive for foul play in Daniel Robinson's disappearance. The investigation is open and active, but there are currently no promising leads in his case. A $10,000 reward is being offered by Daniel's family for information that helps find him. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of Daniel Robinson, please contact the Buckeye Police Department at 623-349-6400. Sorry it's loud, but thanks so much for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe, come hang out with me, and hear more missing persons cases. Here's another video to check out in case you missed it, and here's a playlist of all my videos.